Hi dear viewers, Femi Ayodele is my name. In today's video, I'll be talking about ectopic pregnancy, what you must know. But before this, I would like to tell you a story. I was working in a remote clinic and a patient was rushed into the consulting room with a family. She was said to have fainted three times an hour before presentation and on probing further, I was told that she had unusual menstruation a few days before presentation. She had complained of mild to moderate abdominal pain two days earlier, which became severe a few hours before presentation. As I was asking relevant uh, medical history, I was examining the patient at the same time I was resuscitating the patient. Because she was hemodynamically unstable, she was not fully conscious. A quick pregnancy test revealed that she was pregnant and I quickly rushed her to the scanning room where uh, I performed transvaginal ultrasound. This confirmed the obvious thing to me, she had ruptured ectopic pregnancy. This um, clinic was in a remote village. The nearest hospice to was about 45 km away and there was no good road. In fact, there was no means of transportation, there was no car, there was no ambulance, there was no way to transport this patient to the nearest hospital. Meanwhile, in this very clinic I was working, we usually perform some minor surgeries that does not require general anesthesia. But in this case, these patients require general anesthesia. It means I must just do something because uh, referring her was not an option because she was already in a very severe situation. Immediately, I called a friend of mine who was um, who is a theatre nurse and he was living in a community nearby. The uh, nurse came immediately, we pre prepared the uh, theatre and we performed the surgery. However, in the process, we encountered another problem. The problem was blood. We had no blood bank, we had no means of getting blood to transfuse to this patient. She has suffered a very huge um, internal bleeding. Fortunately, we were able to harvest our own blood, which we transfused to her. The surgery was very okay. The patient recovered rapidly and she was discharged home. The importance of this story is for you to know how important early diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy is and why you should know something about ectopic pregnancy. What is ectopic pregnancy? Ectopic is derived from a Greek word, ectopos. Ectopos simply means out of place. Therefore, we can define ectopic pregnancy as a pregnancy that has occurred outside the uterine cavity. Uterine cavity is the normal site for um, a pregnancy. However, any pregnancy that has occurred outside this place is ectopic pregnancy. Common sites for ectopic pregnancy include the fallopian tube, the ovary, the cervix, the abdominal cavity. However, fallopian tube is the commonest site for ectopic pregnancy. When egg is released from the ovary and the sperm swims from the um, vagina into the ut uh, uterus, the egg and the sperm meet at the fallopian tube where the um, fertilization occurs. After fertilization, this 
fertilized egg travels down to the uterine cavity where implantation will occur and the pregnancy will start growing. However, any condition that will lead to the arrest of the transportation of the fertilized egg from the fallopian tube to the uterine cavity will ultimately cause ectopic pregnancy. In ectopic pregnancy, the fertilized eggs um, develop normally just like normal pregnancy. However, there comes a time when the size of the pregnancy becomes large and it cannot be sustained by the size of the fallopian tube. This causes strain on the wall of the fallopian tube. This leads to abdominal pain. When this continues, the fallopian tube becomes busted, leading to ruptured ectopic pregnancy. At this stage, there may be a very severe abdominal pain. The ruptured ectopic pregnancy leads to bleeding, which results in fainting, shock, and even patients may lose consciousness. Now, what are the causes of ectopic pregnancy? In the real sense, the cause of ectopic pregnancy is unknown. However, any condition that will lead to the distortion or damage of the fallopian tube or reduction in the cilia lining of the fallopian tube will ultimately result in uh, ectopic pregnancy. So all these conditions are what I call risk factors for ectopic pregnancy. This risk factor includes pelvic infections such as pelvic inflammatory disease, sarcoidosis, gonorrhea or chlamydia infections, use of intrauterine device for contraception is a risk factor for ectopic pregnancy. Intrauterine or tuba surgeries are risk factor for ectopic pregnancy. Procedures such as dilatation and curettage. Smoking. Smoking leads to ectopic pregnancy by reducing the cilia lining of the fallopian tube. The cilia are very important in the transportation of the fertilized egg into the uterine cavity. So when there is reduction of cilia lining caused by smoking, ectopic pregnancy may result. Pelvic surgeries. Any surgeries in the pelvic region may cause ectopic pregnancy and previous ectopic pregnancy is a risk factor because those who have had ectopic pregnancy has higher chance of having another one, another ectopic pregnancy. What are the symptoms of ectopic pregnancy? In the real sense, there may not be any symptoms in the early stage of the, uh, uh, the pregnancy. The patient may not even know that she is pregnant. However, as the pregnancy develops, the patient may notice that she has missed her period. There may be abdominal pain, which may be mild to moderate, and it may later become very severe. There may be vaginal bleeding. In some cases, the patient may see it as normal menstruation, and some may see it to be very light or too heavy than normal menstruation. There may be shoulder pain. The shoulder pain is usually due to irritation of the peritoneum, which causes referred pain into the shoulder. There may be fainting due to bleeding and shock may occur. And even then, there may also be loss of conscious, consciousness. How do we diagnose ectopic pregnancy? The diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy starts from taking detailed history of the patient, the physical examination, the um, 
positive pregnancy test and transvaginal ultrasound which may so show the um, gestational sac. The treatment of ectopic pregnancy depends on the time at which the diagnosis is made. In some cases, the blood supply to the pregnancy may become insufficient, leading to natural death of the pre pregnancy. And the uh, serum HCG becomes declined. In such cases, there may not be any further treatment required except to um, continue measuring the serum HCG to be sure that it's declining. If the ectopic pregnancy is detected early enough, injection of methotrexate into the pregnancy may dissolve the pregnancy. This is a medical uh, management of the ectopic pregnancy. In some cases, when it is too late, it may require some form of surgery, which could be laparoscopy, um, laparoscopy um, procedure. This is a pinhole surgery where um, the ectopic pregnancy is removed. In very severe cases where the ectopic pregnancy has ruptured and the patient becomes hemodynamically unstable, open surgery may be required. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, kindly do so, so that you'll be able to get more of this video. What have you learned from this video? One, it is important to make early diagnosis of pregnancy. If your sister, daughter, friends becomes pregnant, advise them that early diagnosis of pregnancy is very important. Not just with um, only blood tests, but also with ultrasound in order to ascertain the size of the pregnancy. When a pregnant uh, lady starts experiencing abdominal pain or vaginal bleeding, especially in early pregnancy, advise them that they need to consult with their doctor as fast as possible, especially when the pregnancy is not yet diagnosed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you, have yet, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Peace out.